excellent shooting recording from the start, but hey ho. Okay. Now we had cleaned out this pocket over here, which is quite handy. Hey, doing that, Jack? Let's get to have you, my friends. Right. Now we do have a number of forces available over here, then. We do have the 125th, the 113th. We do have that core there, the, uh, is that the 34th core? Uh, so we do have a couple of additional forces here that we can actually work with. Now these divisions out here might be useful to actually help with cleaner populations out here. Uh, but it does make me wonder where we can actually have them set instead, really. Uh, we do have the second army, which is available here. Hey, Danette, John. Good to have you, my friend. So we can make use of the second army. We did previously shift them out here, so that's okay. No. We have broken through over here to Flansk, and it does feel... I feel it's almost like a smaller map now, but I'm not playing it with the modded one. Because I don't see all the, like, town names and such, but that's fine, that's fine. You can make do with that. It's easy to follow what's going on here. I can always put the map pot back in if people would like that. Okay. Do let me know if the music is loud enough. I can definitely make it louder. I really do enjoy the music for one of the East, and just the music for used in general, so... I don't mind getting it any louder. Hopefully you guys would like to. Oh, you need to. Okay. So we do have the 5th Division over here. The 5th Division obviously being in a position to allow us to provide support for each other. So we just want to command. So shift and Z. Reveals that to us, which is cool. We do have our security. We're not too far away, frankly, from the next turn. That's the way to look at that. We've moved the vast majority of our assets. Look pretty good. What I'm going to do here is take a look. Let's see. We do have a full army, we do have army group center. Now army group center doesn't have any attached support, it could do, but I'm looking towards keeping it actual construction units rather than uh, artillery really. So not much to work with there. Right, so they're attached to army group south and they're actually operating out there <laughs> to the north. Um, right, but attached to fourth army I see. Right. It seems that actually out here in the field, then that might be why we're not seeing them. I'm a group south. I'm a group south is really busy out here. But I'm gonna have to tell them to return to their headquarters. This is not for the AGS to do. It is not for their labor detachments to do. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna quickly switch over to the mod view here. There we are. Excellent. Okay. So we do have them assigned to... Yeah, so for farm it does look to actually have a construction talent here. Um, we can actually see the Baltic Rail Zone, which is quite nice now. Let's see. That person needs to... There we are. Now that guy's banned, that's excellent. I love when they continue doing it. I'm like, I'm going to mod you. <laughs> I'm going to be able to get you. There we are. Apologies about that, ladies and gentlemen. We had somebody who uh, couldn't work out exactly how old he was. I clearly displayed that. Okay. Now I do have the layer. Uh, I'm probably mispronunciating that, but we do have the motorized brigade over here. We could potentially have it moved up a little bit further, but I don't see the need for that. They are on the rails. I'm going to take them off the rail line, reason being I want to make sure we protect these assets here. I do have this army core as well. Uh, I'm going to get that moved up just to make sure we do have that properly covering our assets as best we can. I think it's an easy way to do it. I might have to go about that way. Uh, try as best we make. That's not too bad. They have to stay there, that's fine. I'm glad that I didn't miss that then, so that's good to see. Okay, what I'm going to do then is essentially, I believe I'll do it next turn. I'm going to, well actually no, it probably would make sense doing it this turn, but we'll see. I'm going to look for these construction battalions, because they're assigned, I want to have them actually sent to the headquarters. And the issue is I don't want to spend too many uh, administration points on this, but I think it's worthwhile doing. But what I'm going to do is actually have it sent to the Army Group Center. We'll do it bit by bit then, because I do have two spare administration points I can spend there. So good to have a group sent there. Okay. So 
we have a Savakian airfield, we do have a Savakian mobile brigade over here, which is quite useful. Uh, but I think I probably have had to shoot it down here to join the Panzer Force Ring. Really. Right now. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, now I can actually go ahead and change the title. Excellent. One second here. That's good then, so the title should have changed now, let me make sure that has. Yes it has, fantastic. Okay. That's what we want then. So yeah, let's take a look then. We do have these forces, they have been cut off for some time now, so that's quite useful. And what we need to do then is decide how much effort we want to put into actually destroying them. They do draw supply, I believe, from the bow, so I've got to be somewhat careful. I think what would be quite good is to isolate the pocket further, create a uh, deeper pocket within a pocket there, essentially. Now, if we take a look, we do see an armored formation there. I do have a division over here, the 4th Mountain Division, which I can break up, which is excellent. So we're going to have the 100th uh, Light Street March South. Now, we do see a security division over here. Sorry, Security Regiment, which is NKVD. Yes, the 91st NKVD. And we do see the 32nd Tank Division over here. What I am going to do then, I want to drive on deeper into the south here. Okay. Right, so they're routed. They remain in the pocket, so that's not too bad. But I'm going to have them march. We need to move all of them to move that one back. It's not particularly efficient, but hey, I don't have to manage that. Have them move there. Now, I do have those divisions out here that we have sent. Could push in there, just put a little bit more pressure on the pocket. Uh, that would be ideal. We do see a fortification over here. Right. See, this is the thing. I don't want to have AGS construction battalions in the north in the centre, really. I want to have them down here. There's not many rail lines for them to convert as of yet, so I can understand why they're not down here, but we do want to make sure we can actually make use of them. I want to keep them actually where they need to be. So we're making progress here. I mean, what I need to do then is actually get these assets moving. These guys are not cut off, but I will be able to cut them off this turn, which is nice. It does actually give greater security to the Rasatosk, which is quite handy for us. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, being a potential liability, which is handy. I do have these forces over here. So... What I can do then is, I can actually have this division here, the 290... Sorry, the 296 there, okay. I do have a couple of these divisions here, but I can't do too much more than this. I do have the 3 slash 266 second there to work with. I think it's worthwhile having this division actually catch up then. Right, so I have them moved down that way. Have them reformed down there. Right where we are. I was saying about reforming them, do I really want to reform them? Because we can actually have abuse here, and just to keep the Soviet forces in check, really. Hmm. We do have quite a lot of ability with our uh, infantry here, which is quite nice. They still have a good chunk of ability to them, which is handy. And what I'm going to do here then is look to prevent a uh, breakout as best as I can, but also keep our supply lines in, in order. Now, actually saying that, I really don't want to have them spread out too far, because these are regiments, they don't... They don't exactly, uh, extend as under control. A regiment doesn't actually give us under control in the opposite hexer, essentially. Uh, so a force could just march through here, no problem. I'm gonna make sure I save here, just so we don't have any crashes. Uh, let's go ahead and override the save. Now, I'm hoping that I don't have any issues, but we'll see. Okay, that worked, which is quite nice. I'm gonna make another save, though, just in case. I'll just name it that one there, it's easy enough to work with. Uh, but I'm using my new desktop machine. It should be a lot faster, so I know we might work on well for us. I know we have three quick turns to uh, play with them. Right. Now let's take a look at the actual situation then. Yes, yeah, so you can see our forces over here are actually... They're not cut off. They're not isolated, but yeah, they are on... Um, what, what was it called now? I can't remember what the actual term was now. 
bar from railhead a uh, yes i said beachhead supply essentially it's very poor supply oh far from the railhead that's it really we'll say they're far from the railhead they're within supply but they're not getting very much they're outside the range of the actual railhead so you can imagine obviously this is being transferred via trucks etc uh, via pack animal however however the hell you can actually manage it a uh, toboggan if you had a toboggan so not a great situation to be in we're not suffering elsewhere besides here and here so i spoke too soon for but at least when we get to the north, we do have the panzers. We do have the infantry that will be cashed up. We have 18th and 16th army. And uh, we also have, is it 9th army over here? 6th uh, army. No, yes, it is 9th army. And uh, so 9th army will be pushing here. 16th and 18th. And uh, so we'll soon have the ability to actually bring supply up. And we'll soon have these rails converted. Uh, we do have rails out here to Riga being converted next turn. And operational in that same turn as well, which is quite nice. So we'll have greater range on our railhead. Uh, the railhead is currently here. So it's a decent range from here to here, really. And if we take a look, which hex is this? This is... Where am I looking for the hexes? I think I'm where the hexes are. So that's uh, 5440. That is 33 there. Okay. That's a decent bit of range. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the actual amount of units in these armies here. Take a look at the headquarters. I'm going to take a look at actual army group. So we can see here that army group South AGS is still suffering here because we have a lot of forces assigned. Because we have the additional Romanians in there as well, it doesn't particularly help us out too, uh, too much. Now we do have army group Antonescu, which is 92. But I may go ahead and actually try to transfer the, is it the 11th army in the South? I think it's either the 11th or the 17th. It's the 11th, okay. So I'm going to try... Well, I'm going to attempt to have the E11 army transfer to army. Good enough, so that's good. Uh, the reason being... Free of that room. Can't do it right now, it's going to show. But I think what I could do is do it like core, actually. That may be the way to potentially go about me. Uh, so if we, I think we should be able to do it by core. If I take a look over here, you're assigned to the 11th army. If I could actually free up an army command, that'd be quite useful elsewhere, to be honest. Right, okay, so... I may not actually have enough uh, administration points, that might be the reason as to why. Yeah, that must be the reason as to why. Man. So what I'll do then is I'll hold off for another turn until we get those administration points. I can't recall how many we need, it might be about 50 or 60. Uh, ideally not that many, but well, we'll have to get it done. But we'll go about doing that then. Let's see. But what I want to see then is raw numbers. So in terms of men, uh, army group Antonescu, obviously the smallest there, but that's because it's obviously not a uh, proper army group as of yet. There's <sighs> only about 50 odd thousand men in that. We do have army group North, so we're looking at uh, 969,000 men. Army group North, army group Centre, pretty similar in strength. Army group Centre does have another 20 odd thousand men there. But you can see the amount of AFVs is uh, pretty different. You take a look at Army Group North there, we have 1,216 AFPs. Uh, Army Group Center there is uh, wah, more than double that, really, essentially. So that is a big difference in terms of actual raw strength there. And of course, we do have armored units. I believe the, uh, is it the third Panzer Group? I think it might be the third Panzer Group. I think it's assigned to AGN, but it's actually operating in service technically of AGC right now. Uh, so it's Possibly even four tanks on there. No, actually, no, I think that, no, 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 I'm incorrect there. No, they're both, no, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm always incorrect there. No, they're both in service of AGC. We do have the fourth Panzer Group, I think it is. That's far over north, and then under Armour Group north, so that's accurate. And we do have AGS, which has 1639 AFPs. Aircraft is 764, and 1472 there. So we have 1.5. 6 million men down here in Army Group South. We do have 14,000 guns, so we do have a good deal of guns there. We've got a good deal of actual armored vehicles. So Army Group Center is um, technically the largest in terms of like raw manpower. Technically, well, the largest in terms of guns. Uh, guns is one that's correct there. But it depends on the caliber, depends on the... Yeah. So we have Romanian 100mm guns in there, which are alright, they're good. They're, they're about as good as you get for Romanians, but they're not exactly like, spectacular. When you compare it to other aspects uh, of artillery that we have available, it's said to another 150, and it's said to not be heavier guns than the German forces. 
or indeed the Soviets have. So if 100 mils are nice, but they're more like medium caliber artillery for the most part. So that 14,000 is going to take a pinch of salt there, really. And I can actually take a look at that in depth. So you can see here about 2,700 mortars. A good deal of AT guns, which is nice. Yeah, as we have artillery. Yeah, we do have the Romanian 100mm mortar, sorry, 100mm Howitzer here. We do have the Hungarians with their 100s and 149s. Which is, uh, it's not bad with 149, but it depends on really how good it is. We do have our heavy artillery, so we have 469 heavy guns. Uh, only 4240s there, but defenders actually do need to go to the north towards uh, Leningrad. Um, no super heavy artillery. So, we have a lot of mortars. Those are like the infantry guns there. So we have a lot of infantry guns slash mortars then. Actually, I do have the infantry guns here. They're just given the actual same icon. So no, those are actual mortars then, okay. Uh, so we've got majority being mortars, light artillery, infantry guns, have a lot of AT guns. There's not that much in the way of actual heavy artillery, only, only 469 there, uh, 2456 here. But if we take a look at that situation in AGC, let's take a look at guns. Uh, 1,971 mortars, we have 1,897 artillery, 289, uh, 289 heavy. Uh, we have 215 heavy infantry guns, which is quite nice. A number of lights, and a good deal of infantry guns there. Now, in terms of artillery, in terms of guns, Army Group North definitely has the best deal by now. The reason being, they have a super heavy guns too. They have a good deal of heavy artillery, but they have a super heavy guns as well. As we have the 355s, it looks like we have lost the 600mm Carl Siege Mortars, unfortunately. Unless they were counted as something else, but I think they would be counted as something different than just pure mortar. So yeah, that's something that we have to take into consideration, but we also do see a handy power of information that tells us how many are damaged. Yeah. But there we go, we have a lot of information that we're going to digest. So we need to decide which army does need to have the additional firepower, the additional men really. Army Group South is an interesting one. We could potentially have men assigned, even potentially to the 11th army, that does make it more costly to have transferred out. But it could be a worthwhile endeavour there perhaps. But saying that, where do we really want to make our effort? Where do we want to make our push? Do we want to have it out here in the south? No, not really. We want to have it out here in Moscow and in Leningrad. There's also a lot to be said for having a reserve too. Our music has been loud compared twice, so I think you pretty much for telling me that. That means I can adjust that and... Uh... Right, there we go. Ideally that should be better. That's about half the volume there. That track does get a bit loud, but thank you for pointing that out. Okay. I think I may have these three, sorry, these two divisions here. Oh, we do have a core, which is actually really good. Uh, it's hard to say. A few more divisions down here myself could make a big difference, but, well, they could make a difference. Though, it depends on how great, how useful that is. Mm. We do have additional reinforcements that have arrived as well. It may be worthwhile having uh, the armies filled out, bringing the armies up to full strength and then going from there, really. That might be the way to go. I think I may potentially send additional reinforcements to the 11th army. Uh, we do need to have enough men to actually allow us to push on towards, uh, well, deep into the Ukraine, deep into that area. Another core is always a very useful thing to have, too. But I don't think I need the core with them. I think what I'll do then is actually have them signed out this way. Uh, but what I need to take a look at then is the actual cores we have. You see that we do have the 30th core, but the 30th core here has three Romanian divisions attached to it. What we want to do then is, well, we could take a look at that. We could actually take a look at actually assigning a couple German divisions to some of these Romanian cores. And really just try and stiffen their ability up somewhat, stiffen their resolve. Give them that punch and power, that's not a bad way to go about things. It would certainly help us with attacking Odessa to have a couple of German divisions in there. Uh, so I think I will do that. The actual core headquarters I think I'm going to have sent elsewhere because they're really quite useful. And I do have the core headquarters down here already so I don't particularly need them elsewhere. Uh, but it would be very useful to actually have them down here to push, in, uh, push on Odessa. Let's see. I do have that open. 
Uh, Kishniav. We'll head this way then. Right, okay. So I do have this core, which is actually overloaded at this moment in time. Okay. Right, so you're directly under the 11th army there, which is a little bit awkward. And what I'm going to do ha is have you assigned there. These assets that we have, six there. You're somewhat overburdened, but I can have you reassigned here. Uh, you can actually handle a good number of additional men. It might be worthwhile having the two divisions sent down that way, actually. But I think I'm going to go with just the one division. I don't want to have them too concentrated. I want to spread out their abilities to some degree, which may in fact be a worse idea. But it's, um, it's about getting that extra bit of oomph where we need it. Right. This core needs to move out. Okay. So I'm going to have you assigned to the third remaining core. I can, uh, array well, I can move things around. Make it work out here. A little bit overburdened, but I'll be able to swap it out. But the good news is now I have. That's uh, awkward now. Um, turn you to headquarters so I can actually have that room there. Right. So we do have some stronger forces down in this area, which is handy. It does help us quite a bit. What I'd like to do even is actually take a look at the cores, because we could do with potentially additional cores here. Let's figure out where we need them. So that being said, I might actually have that core assigned to the army. I could have that assigned to the... I'm going to have that assigned to army group. Sorry, the 11th army group, actually. So the 11th army, I should say, not army group. Oh, yeah. We'll have it assigned to the 11th army. That gives me something I can work with there. Possibly. I'll do right. Hmm. I'm going to say no, actually. We do have enough there. What I can do is actually have it assigned to the second... Right, then assigned to that core. I do have additional men. Okay. Right, you're at full capacity. Another core is great, then. So I'm going to have you assigned to the second army. That's the correct one. Yep, there we are. So we'll have them assigned to that core. Can make use of them then. It allows me to um, really utilize the second arm in a greater, greater way, really. These fellows are beat, so they can't advance any further, but these guys can. Right, there we go. At least I can actually get the second army out of that way. Have them on the rail lines ready to be moved up. Right, okay. Yeah, we have additional forces here then. Now... That core can handle one more division. What I'll do then is have one of these cores sent out here to Warsaw. Have you assigned to that? Right, there we go. Keep them on the trains. Now, that does leave me with another two divisions over here then. So we have the 46, we have the 132nd there to work with as well. Um, let's see. So we passed over a million men now. So 17th Army, 4th Army, 11th Army, 2nd Panzer, 9th Army. 18th can't handle an additional men. 2nd Army could handle some additional men there. 
We're looking now at fourth Panzer Group. That's second Panzer. Right, so we're looking over here at North. Um, let's see. Okay. I think I may go ahead and actually have those men assigned to the second army. The reason being I can actually have them assigned directly to second army headquarters. So I'll have to move them up a little bit further on. And then I can actually gain a... I can work out another core command for them. But I'd like to reinforce the second army. I would like to have a fresh force that can actually push us on towards Moscow. I do want to have something that is relatively uh, intact and uh, an unspent force, really. So we're going to go ahead here and just save it there. Then save again, just make sure. 